Ah, so glad to be back. Hello, Game Show Edo. Welcome back. Oh, hey, Podcast Edo. And also, man, congratulations on your podcast with Natsumi Uta, your 10th guest. Thank you. Hey, man, do you want to play Heads or Tails? Sure, I would like to play a game of Heads or Tails. I pick tail. I pick heads. All right. Ah, see, I told you, man, I never lose. Well, Mr. Winner, you got to do the intro for the video since you haven't been here for a while. See you around. Good night. All right, GG. Well, everyone, please enjoy my the 14th report of heads. See you there. Once again, I am home, and here's another video for your PC and phone. Mina, konnichiwa. Yokoso de chanu. Shikashi shinai. Yokoso de mochido. Atashi channel ga. Edo numo four. As you can see, thank you all for giving me to 100 sub. Once again, thank you for not only watching my previous video, but along with my SES video, and also my last podcast episode with Natsumi Uta as well. For today's topic, we are back with the 14th Japanese report of Heads. Of their own story that I could tell the best way I can, along with explain one okay rock as well. As usual, I'm going to speak in English and Japanese, but for this video, I'm gonna also add two more subtitles of German and Korean, along with, of course, the Japanese and English subtitles too. So, as usual, let's start the game. We're going to start off with our leader for heads, Takura Yuhara, born in 1988, June the 22nd from Osaka Prefecture in Moguchi City, Japan. The second member is named Toru Yamashita, born in the winter of the same year as the same city as Japan, like Takura, on December the 7th in Osaka. The third to last member is Kohei Nakamura, born in 1989, September the 17th. Last member is Ryoto Obama, born in the same place as two of the members from Osaka, but a few days earlier than Kohei on September the 4th. They've all met each other in a school called Kala's Vocal and Dance School from 1996. In the next year, they won Teens Music Festival. From that point, this is where Victor Entertainment stepped in and signed them. And this is where we're going to move into our next chapter for their discography. The first single to start off this chapter is called Scream, released in the start of the millennium of July the 26th in 2000. The second single was a decision of good or bad, was decided in the same year of the 22nd of September. The third single is what we all want, A Perfect Land, found on March the 23rd of 2001. Progressive Form is the fourth single of Shinko Ken, updated in the 25th of July of the same year. The second to last single is Ray of Courtesy, gave thanks into the New Year's of 2002 January the 23rd. 
Last single is a cover of Moto Haru Sano Someday, released on Wednesday in the same year of July the 24th. Last thing to mention for this chapter is that their first and only album called Mike Masta handed their last mic in the 21st of February of once again in the same year and released all the songs before their last single. But hopefully Someday is in that first album specifically. I believe their popularity and group has been from that point all the way to 2005. And the reason why is because this is where Ryota and Toru are in a new band, which we will get to now know into the next chapter. Toru and Ryota made a group that is still around to this day called One OK Rock, aka One O'Clock, along with Takashiro Morichi and Tomoya Kanki. Originally, there were two other members, but due to their bad behavior, they were kicked out of the group before their fourth album was released in 2009. Speaking of which, I will go over their nine albums along with singles the best way I can. But before we get to that, we got to introduce the two new members. Taka, the leader, a.k.a. Takashiro Morichi, born in April the 17th of 1988, previously in Johnny's Jr. since 2001, and was in a group called News until 2006, and from Tokyo, Japan. Lastly, Tomoya Kanki, born in 1987, June the 27th, Hugo Prefecture, and he is the drummer. Toru and Ryota's role is they are the basses. And now on to their discography. Their first album with three singles called and translated as Living in Zeta Ku Bayou, A Luxury Stick, began their living on the 21st of November 2007 on Amuse Inc. Records and made it to the gold 15th place. Their first single was holding it all inside called Nahi Sinshiro, kept on the 48th place nine times and finally let out on the 25th of April. The second single was absolutely a Yume Yume, dreamt upon the 25th of July and woke up on the 43rd place six times in a row. Their third single from their four, first album is Etc. And it reached the 29th place four times and was released on October the 24th. Their second album called Beam of Light shot its beam to the 17th place six times on May the 28th, 2008. Also, their first but not last album made it to America, but not really their own American album, ranking it to the fourth out of five stars. Their third album is a Kanjo Effect, released its spirits of emotions on the se September the 12th of the same year, while making it into the golden 13th place along with five and a half stars in the US. Their fourth single translated as Heart Love from Cupid became an ending theme for the comedy variety show called Avrabagadan. In the same year, they have their first live video tour called World Shredder, placed on the 60th on the Ocon chart and performed in the Shibuya Club Quartiro. Their sixth year was the four remaining members of Taka, Toru, Ryota, and Tomoya. With the release of their fourth album, 
niche syndrome diagnosed on the 9th of june 2010 and made it to the platinum of the fourth and third place too with one single the fifth single kazen kanku dreamer a perfect sensation dreamer dreamt on the february the third in that same year while waking up to the 40th and 9th place they did a 10-year version for the stay-at-home performance while having a DVD version released on the 28th of April. Wherever You Are made it to the fourth place even though it's, the single was never released. Their fifth album is called The Zankyo Reference, echoed the 5th of October 2011 and made it to the second gold place with four singles. The sixth through eighth singles of The Answer Is Near, Remake, and, Not, and No Scared all made it to the sixth place. And No Scared was used for the intro for the PSP game called Black Star Rocker Rock Shooter. Lastly, the ninth single Chaos Myth released on the 8th of 2012 made it to the 88th place on the chart. Their sixth album equation, Jinsei X Boku equals Life Times Me equals Brock, while winning the fourth Golden Award, second place released on March the 6th, 2013, with this also where they went on their first international tour with five singles and voice was dedicated to the collaboration of their late great mem member lead vocalist K from the band Pay Money to My Pain. In the, in the beginning is the 10th single released on August the 22nd of 2012 starting winning the gold fifth golden place and made it into the first live adaptation of the movie Samurai X aka Roni Kinchin and also done a 10 year version of that song too. The 12th and 13th single of Deeper and Deeper and Nothing Helped helped out in the second place while making it into the new year of January the 9th 2013 and Deeper and Deeper made it into their first CM of Suzuki Cars. The fourth single, Clock Strike, struck on the 24th of February and made it into the 27th place. And the same as made it into the 52nd place. The seventh album, 35, won the first platinum of Japan and the U.S. charts. Well, this is their very first U.S. album from Warner Brothers Records. Released in February and September of 2015 with six singles. And the 16th and 17th single of Mighty Long Fall and Decision. Both won second place of July the 30th of 2014. 18th single cried out was cried on February 11th of 2015 and won the 15th place. The last, the 19th single, Last Dance, lasted on September the 25th and won the 93rd place. 20th single, The Way Back, went back on October the 2nd and won the 6th place. Lastly, the 15th single, Heartache, February the 3rd, made it into the 43rd place and put on the third movie of the soundtrack of Samurai X. The second to last chapter for this album is called Ambition. It came out on the new year of 2017, January, won the platinum of the first and fourth place and has eight singles. Their 21st single, Always Coming Back, came back on the 11th, March 2016, 
and return to the ninth place. The 22nd single is taking off on the September the 16th and landed on the fourth place. 23rd single, Bedroom Warfare, released on November the 18th and won 20th place. 24th single, I Was King, was crowned the 26th place and became the present of the 15th of December. 27th single, We Are, became a name of the new year of 2017, January the 9th, and won the 4th place. 28th single, Listen, featuring Avril Lavigne, won 93rd place, and the 27th single of Take What You Want, featuring 5 Seconds of Summer, took to 57th, 44th, and 30th place on the charts. The last album for this chapter is their current one, current knife album, called The Eye of the Storm, also becoming their third album in America, their third American album. It caught the wind of February the 13th, 2019, while going platinum into the first through third place, along with three singles. The 29th single is Change for the February the 16th, 2018 on the sixth place. The 30th single Stand Out fit in Stand It Out on November the 2nd and fit onto the ninth place. The 31st single Wasted Night released on the 1st of February 2019 and placed on the sixth place on the charts. The last song I really wanted to get to before we get to the second to last chapter of this video is Renegade. It became the soundtrack for the fourth Roroni Kenshin movie while winning the first place storming on the 16th of April of 2021. And now everybody, this is where we're going to get to of why I like One OK Rock and heads. My favorite thing I like about both of these group is, is in their, a lot of their interview, Taka said, our music is about growing up and we're growing with you. And he is absolutely right. This is now going to be the 14th time I speak in Japanese on how I first Listen to the group. Kite kudasai. Nisei ichi nana natsu no mitai toki wa niko video ga dareka upload do rap skills nen ga de asoboita the pump folder. Yeah, 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 nato to nato. Demo, ijiban te megumi ga bikushita te hezu. Promotion video no shinko ken. Subarashi te daisuki na yo. To de one okay rock. やっぱりって、しかし、The Renegade Promotion Video で、バスベイダーエピソード902し、し、ありませんでした。でも、し、ありませんでした。覚えてるすごいミュージ、ミュージカルジャンルで、やつかしいって、で、話をリポートあります。愛してます、One OK Rock とも、そして、嬉しかったで、Active Night。<笑>ヘッズデビューした、エドいない。でも、で、デビューシングルがスクリーム
Edo Sansai Imoto chan Umalenen O O A Atatachiga the Hachisai des Dakara Nana Niju Loku de Hatsugyo ne Heads and one okay rock hito ego de. On July the 26th, I declared to celebrate Heads and one okay rock day. Happy 22nd and 17th anniversary. Mochiro wa ego de hanashimasu. Another thing I like to add for my favorite moments of Heads is th they were on a show called translated as Legendary Onapu Euro Hall in 2001. One of their favorite idols that they wanted to be around with is Morning Musume, which they got to be around the next year. It was a Halloween episode of from the show called Musics in 2002 where they reacted to an unknown lyric of sweet 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 from the group dreams come true while looking at a movie where a taxi driver had a worm crawling on his shirt it is worth mentioning that toru also got to collab with his idol named dragon ash perfect land and progressive form music video is what I really believe is the concept of Coneheads, if they had more cousins or kids, they get to travel to America. And I believe both of these films, these videos, were filmed in Hawaii. Please let me know in the comments section if it's not. I definitely would like to compare this group to the kid and teenager version of Da Pump and Rip Slime since they are very similar to their rapping and dancing. In the US they would definitely they would be similar to the rap group the Wascos of being the teenager version of the Fair Side. Fun fact is that one of the members from the Fair Side named Fat Lip collaborated with the Wascos for song and video called Dream and Imaginate. The group was so rare is that the videos that I've shown you for heads is all I could actually find. This group was also compared to Folder. As for 1OK Rock, they really reminded me of the next generation of X Japan. As for American rock bands, they they remind me of Linkin Park, Simple Plan, and Good Charlotte. It's very hard to pinpoint my favorite song from 1OK Rock as far as Head because I really believe all their songs is good. You know, for Heads, I haven't really listened to all their songs, but they all work together as a team as well. I know at this point, you are all thinking, why is this chapter called Reunion? Well, even though the members themselves of 1OK Rock didn't really announce a reunion. I would sure like for them to have one. Let me explain. Takara, the leader of Heads, is still alive by doing stage performance along with acting too. But I wish I had the information of what happened to Kohei. I definitely want to believe he's still alive too, even though he hasn't been in a scene for a while. On that note, I would like for them to have a concert where they would have Heads, 1OK Rock, and a news concert at the same time. Not just for Kohei, but just to give a reunion tour of how they all began their journey. Maybe someday it'll happen. I hope you all enjoy my report of Heads and 1OK Rock. And now we're going to get to the shout outs. This shout out, we're going to start off with 1OK okay Rock equals heads. 
of Takura Toru Ryota and Taka. As for the shout outs, we have from my last podcast, Natsumi Uta, Rolajan, DJ Olivion from Instagram, Spirit Fred, Goon Knox, Callie, Z, Robert Shane Burns, Carmen and Quentin, Disneyland Resort Ambassador, Sicko Vivo, Jay Ryder, Splash McLean, Fritz the Frog, Splashdown Water Park, and MR from Jeopardy. And also on that note, I'm going to add the Chuganeer and also this guy right here. Well, thank you all for watching my 14th report of heads along with 1OK Rock. Coming up next is the 15th Japanese report of color, which means I got to do this. But I will change it back once the next video comes back. So along with that, I have my 18th episode report of my podcast. And so I am going to see you all later. Goodbye. The time has been fun, but once again, I got to run. Darika upload rap skews rap skews I'll try to record. Hello, my name is Edo4 and this is the podcast channel Swag. Once again I am home. And here's an oh. think. <laughs> wait, wait. Ah. Dream upon Drop Me say Ichi Nana Natsu no uh Mite Tokiwa Wait Thank you Hey man do you wanna play uh the more Umalit Chan Ah! Ah! <laughs> Aruba... Aruba Kadam... Wait... Ah... Nisei... Ichinana... For their fourth album in 2009... Hazagashi then oh oh no nah. yeah release on September ah the second single was a was a ah is Zeta Zeta Ku oh. Zeta this shout out for this video goes before we get to the main the written more Ah, uh, hold on. And this is where we are going to move on to our next uh, our next chapter. Kashi, David single scream uh, arimas. Sansai, Edo Sansai this. The more previous from. Hmm. Hello everyone. And this is me, podcast episode. Ah!
the time has been fun. But as for now, I'm on the ground. Wait, no, 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 no. Uh, who took a lot that? I got you. Let's start the game. Uh <laughs>